I was just wondering if that was a little more special to you because it was against Alistair in your first main event than the first three UFC fights. Yeah, it was this one was all the fights were special, but this one was special. Why? I show how out there he came in with a perfect game plan, and I was like, yeah, the fighting is uh, is attack, and yeah, as soon as I got this opportunity in the last second of this fight, I put him down, and I saw I, I just hit him with the right fist, and he, he let his guard go, so I go with the left, and I see he just keep going back, and I jump in with the right, and yeah, boom, that was it. Some people, like I was just saying, criticized Dan Mergliata for the stoppage. What did you think of the stoppage? Nah, I saw he was out, and that's why I walked away, because I saw, I saw the damage. So I look at him, and I was going with the right again, but I was, then I saw he would go down, and then I turned my back. I walked away, and the, guy, the referee was running at me. So I, I walked away. It's respect, man. I can keep hitting, hitting him, right. and I see he's out. So, I mean, I give him that respect. I mean, you know... I want to win, I won, and then I walk away. If you wanted me to damage him more, ah, I don't think people want that. Man. Did you recall noticing the lip right away? And what were you thinking when you saw that? I saw, he get, I saw his eye was out. You know? I saw him go out, and I look at him, and I walk away. I saw that you guys, you even embraced afterwards. What Did he say anything to you? Because it seemed like he was handling it very well. You know, he just lost his heartbreaker, four seconds remaining, his lip is hanging, but yet it seemed like he was very gracious in defeat. What did he say to you afterwards? Nah, he was angry, and uh, after I say, hey, thank you, man, I'll see you next time. Okay, so he was and angry. Was just, yeah, he was angry. Okay. What were you thinking going into that fifth round? Did you have a feeling that you were down at least three rounds and that you had to stop him to win that fight? Yeah, man. I mean, I know I was, I know I was down. I was losing that fight. And my coach keep telling me, hey, man, you want to win this fight or no? And then last round, he gave me the kick in the ass. And I was like, yeah, let's be flipped. And I was keep pressuring, pressuring. And for me, it feels like the fight was going really fast. You know, the, min the minutes in the fight were going really fast. I didn't know, hey, before you think the round is over. And I mean, it's five minutes, but it, it, seems, like, it, it, seems, like, it seems like it was like uh, 30 seconds, you know? Yeah. I know he's a legend. I know you've been watching him for a while. But in a way, was he was he better than you thought he would be? Did he surprise you with anything? No, he did. Yeah, he surprised me. Uh, I didn't think he was he was going to wrestling right away. Uh. But I think he was. I think the mistake he made, he tried to 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 shut my left hand down, and then don't see the right. And yeah, to wrestle, it's a good game plan. But you know, it is, I know, I know, I have to teach. I have to do my grappling, and you can bring me down. And I always try to get up as soon as I get up. And the next thing I know is the next round start standing up. So, so I know the next round start standing up. So I mean, we're gonna stand up again. So can you hold me there? I keep saying it's a high level fighter. It's a left over for him. He did a lot of things for the sport in different different levels, you know, in kickboxing and in MMA. So I need I know I need to show really good heart there. And I mean I did. How did it you is over till it's over. Absolutely. You you proved that on, on uh, Saturday. How did you feel? First time in your career that you go into the fourth or fifth round, cardio wise, how did you feel out there? I feel great. I was tired and yeah, I was able to go more. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I got him a few times in the fight, but I couldn't finish it. And I was keep searching for those moments. And yeah. So after, once again, like you told us a couple of weeks ago, you want Francis Ngannou. He even responded to you on Twitter. He's going to be on the show later. How confident are you that you are going to get Francis Ngannou next? Nah, I'm happy and I'm excited for that fight. So, uh, I mean... When I head to the gym, make sure I'm ready and I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, he responded, and I can't wait till we get this fight done. Do you think that's a number one contender fight? If you beat Nganu, do you think your next fight after that is for the belt? Yeah, it's, it's possible to be, but for me, it doesn't matter. I want to fight him. And, I mean, hey, I don't know. Hey, Lou just coming in. I do Lou. Yeah. <laughs> the great Lou DeBono. Yeah. If he... 
Uh, what was the question again? Uh, if if, if you think that a win over Ngannou <laughs> gets you a title shot. Yeah, I would probably be good. Yeah. Well, that, by the way, I mean, we're here for the heavyweight. We're here fighting for the baddest man on the planet. And if I got a uh, chance to fight uh, for the title, i do it right away. He's, he's very anxious to get back in there. He wants to get in there soon. How soon do you want to return, realistically? I want to uh, March, April. Okay. If I get to fight like ain't March, uh, beginning of April, I, uh, yeah, I fight against him. Okay. And now, so now you're going back home to Suriname? You're, you're at the airport right now, right? Yeah, I'm at the airport. Uh, just checked in and I'm waiting to do the security checkup. What do you think the reception is going to be like this time? We talked about it after MSG, but now you just won main event against the legend. What do you think it's going to be like? What's waiting for you back nah, home? It's already crazy. A lot of people, uh, have a lot of bosses coming to the airport, coming to pick me up. I think after I get there, you're going to see it on the social media and you're going to see how big it is. Yeah. And, and last thing for you, Jorginho, have you had a chance to sit back now and look at the past year, what you've done 4-0? It's, it's, it's been a long time since we've had a heavyweight come in like this. It's, it's kind of crazy, right? It's surreal to see what you've done in, in a, like a 10-month period. Have you had a chance to take it all in? Nah, I, 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 never, I didn't do it yet, but it's going to come. I mean, you know what's happening the most of the time? I do the job, you know, I do the job, and then after I'm happy and I'm with my coach, and then a couple of, maybe a week after, I, I just realized what I just did, you know? Like, I just put down a record, or I just fight this big fight against Overeem, and then, and that's all those reactions coming up now, and yeah, I didn't realize yet, so. But I'm focusing on recovery, relaxing, and uh, yeah, make sure I'm recovering good, but get back in the gym, and make sure I'm ready for Ngano. Enjoy it, my man. Congratulations. What a performance. What a year for you. What a knockout. Everything you've done has just been amazing. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you do in 2020. Safe travels. And thank you for squeezing us in before you, you check through security over there. Thank you, man. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yes, absolutely. There he is. Biggie boy, Jairzinho Rosenstrike, uh, a guy who, let's be honest, a lot of us didn't know who he was a year ago right now. And now all of a sudden he's maybe, what, one fight away from fighting for the belt? You beat Francis Ngannou. Who else is there? There's no one left. Look at some of these stats, courtesy of my man, Andrew Davis. 10-0, 4-0 in the UFC. First fighter in modern era UFC history to win four fights in a calendar year by knockout. First fighter, regardless of weight class. Nine of his 10 wins by KO, TKO, including each of the last five. Tied for third latest finish in UFC history and the latest in heavyweight history. The other two, of course, Demetrius Johnson versus Kyoji Hiroguchi, UFC 186. And last year, the uh, Korean zombie Yair Rodriguez fight. Longest active win streak in heavyweight division and longest active knockout streak overall. He was down 40 to 36, 39 37, and 39 37. So he was. All right, so two judges gave him the fourth round on the scorecards entering the fifth. And. As of last week, he was 14th ranked heavyweight, according to the UFC rankings. That is going to change. A lot is going to change for this man. Hello, everyone. It's Ariel Hawani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.